<laughs> There's a war right now going on in the Godzilla community right now. And it's between SH Monster Arts and High End Toys. What we're going to be talking about is basically loose joints, no accessories, bad paint apps, paint jobs, etc. Mainly because there's a company that is doing it way better than Bandai, and that's High End Toys. Recently, High End Toys has been stepping up their game when it comes to certain Godzilla figures. Technically, their entire Godzilla line, and it's making. SH Monster Arts look really bad. As a person who is a big fan of the SH Monster Arts line, this is really disappointing to see because this line is supposed to be dedicated to highly articulated figures of your favorite kaiju. And I've seen lots of videos going through the process of why it's failing, discussions of why SH Monster Arts line is going to fail pretty soon. Another issue is mainly because of the pricing with these Godzilla figures when it comes down to pricing. The pricing of these things are outrageous. The Destroy and Buy Latte figures I talked about earlier are like $150 plus, while like a Haya Toys is like only $50 for better paint apps, worse articulation, but way more movie accurate. In the past like five years, we've had very lackluster figures. And I think this is a recent problem with the SH Monster Arts line, mainly due to very bad paint apps, like I already said. Um, an example is the SH Monster Arts King Ghidorah 2019. The original release sucks. Loose joints, bad like paint applications, really bad joint tolerance, everything. They kind of fixed this with the release of the special color version, but it still came with virtually nothing except from Flight Stand, which came with the original release. Another release I would like to talk about is Godzilla Minus One. This figure is $140 for practically one figure. This is unacceptable. Like any figure that like shoots a beam should come with a beam. I think it's fair to say that any character that can shoot beams out of his mouth should come with that beam. And especially because it's $140. Have you seen the pictures? of it in hand when it like people first started getting it it looks so bad and quality control is really bad on these sh monster arts figures they can go from really good to really bad let's take a look at the godzilla 2019 figure when it first came out it was praised it was a really good figure but then high toys comes along and blows that figure out of the water with their 2019 godzilla it's basically an updated version of the 2021 design but kind of like a remold. It was really good. I don't have that figure right now. I'm planning on getting it. My order got, I, I, I ordered it, but my order got canceled and I was really sad about that. And we also need to talk about repaint for SH Monster Arts figures. Like the special color version King Ghidorah was like, like 30 bucks more than the original release. Especially with like the Godzilla 2014 release, like Spitfire version. It would it, like, Repaints for the SJ's Monster Arts line are more expensive than their first release. But with like high-end toys, they're the exact same pricing, but with accessories. But the reason why they get these prices so low is because they use the same mold, but they add accessories and repaint the original figure, which is very smart. That's how they can keep costs down. But I would like, I don't know how this is going to be effective in the long run. This is going to be like another SJ's Monster situation where you repaint after repaint after repaint. And I really hope that Hyatt doesn't fall into this mistake like SH Monster Arts did, especially like in the early years of the line. Another question I've been seeing in the community, the Godzilla figure community is, is the SH Monster Arts line dead? Personally, I think yes and no. My part in yes is there's future releases that could save the release, like save the line. Like the Godzilla 972, I really want that figure and the first like the first in-hand pictures came out a few days ago and it looks really good and I really want it. I was gonna pre-order it for Christmas, but I decided not to because I want to see the first in-hand photos of it, but I think I'm gonna pick it up. I will probably be reviewing it once I get it. Another release I really want is the Kong 2024 because I didn't get my hands on the Kong 2021, but I do have uh, Godzilla 2021, so. I think Hyatt Toys is definitely beating SH Monsters in the MonsterVerse department. I think if SH Monster Arts brought down their costs and did better paint apps to figures, I think they would be tied. But right now, I genuinely think that 
High Toys is better in the department of the MonsterVerse. I would have to see because they just revealed their Godzilla 1991 Yokohama suit version, and this is like sort of like a new classic Godzilla um, line. Well, that's all I have for today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe. Peace.